Evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. It's Tuesday or Two Woos Day. I apologize. I probably shouldn't even say Two Woos Day today. It is not a Two Woos Day day. Uh, of course. Anyway, it's Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024, and it is day 296. We here in the family, where we're doing fine, her is okay, Lily is okay, sweet bee's okay, Buttercup's okay, but Buttercup is still at the grandparents, she wanted to play for a little bit, we're coming home to do our own work. But I am a little bit late getting to this. Better better timing than usual, though. At the time of recording, it's 5.28 p.m. local. Uh, the, and one of the reasons why I am somewhat late getting to this is, uh, well... <sighs> I don't want to mince words, but the the police department has been in front of our house and next door for the past. Let's see, them. where were they here? Were they here at one or two? So about three. They they've been here for about the past three and a half, four and a half hours. So they've been here for a while, and I can't confirm a hundred percent, but I believe our um. I believe one of our next door neighbors died today. So there is that. And the, the, uh, we, we didn't sit there and watch everything. I periodically looked. And a part of that is I don't want to get in, in the way of police investigations. I do know we saw a detective. A police officer did have an SLR. They were stepping in and out of the home. The fire department was there for the shortest amount of time. They showed up because, you know, we heard the sirens. The, uh, we heard the sirens first. So the, police, the fire department showed up first, then the police department was filling up uh, shortly after them. But, you know, quick timing. But uh, they went to the building, which is next to and slightly behind us as the property is a dual, is a, um, not exactly a duplex, but it has two properties on the building. However, um, the fire department went in, but then they came back out, and then it was mostly just the police department going in and out of the building. The people with the SLR were going in there, and by the look of it, there was no crime scene tape or anything like that, which means if there was, it, by, by the look of it, and every, everything that we witnessed says that the, our neighbor has died. But... There were, there were no crimes, so there wasn't like there was a homicide because there's no crime scene tape. They're not questioning everyone in the area. So by the, by the look of it, it was just, well, our neighbor died. It's unfortunate. Um, he, he didn't speak. His English was broken, like broken English, but he was a very polite man. He was, I would say he was a second or third generation immigrant, but uh, he was extremely polite. He was disabled. He could, he could barely walk. And whatever it came to handling food, he had to have all of his foods delivered. He couldn't really get anywhere on his own. So I fully understand that situation. But the police were going in and out of that building for about three or four hours. They were going in and out. And then about an hour, I want to say about an hour ago, another another vehicle, all white, um, came in. I believe that was the coroner. Um, either the coroner or detective was talking with uh, some of the neighbors and those who are close to them, plus the uh, the landlord of of the property. They they've been talking. I believe the the property management is still there, but based on everything I saw and how long everything's been taking, I believe there is still a squad car out out there right now. Again, no crime scene page, so there was no crime was committed, but by all evidence, our neighbor has passed away. But we'll have to talk with some of our other neighbors at a later time when things have calmed down. Because uh, you, you just give every you just give everyone some time to let let things sink in, let the dust settle after an event like this. But it's unfortunate because Terry Ter did like to have brief conversations with him whenever he got the opportunity to say hello. He didn't get out of his house very often. It's it, it, it very similar to... Well, well, I'm not very similar, but a bit similar to Terry. He doesn't get out of the house very often either. And Well, that makes him want to get out of the house even more, so... 
you know, keep his health up. But... <sighs> you lose. No, no, no one here in the house is, um... Irate or emotional over, over the situation. But in the past... I would say two or three months. In the past two or three months, this is the third, uh, second or third neighbor we've had that has passed away. And part of it is of the neighbors we have that have been here the same amount of time or weren't really longer than, than our family, have been longer than we have. They're all much older. They're all, they're not getting any younger. A lot of our neighbors are um, senior citizens. So it does make sense that, well, that's, it's, um, it's an unfortunate fact of life that we all do it sometime. But, uh, again, I'll, um, I'll give everyone an update on it tomorrow after, or, or, or tomorrow or when I've had the opportunity to talk to some of the neighbors that are, were closer to him. And part of that is, you know, the neighbors that live on the sitting property. We'll, we'll, we'll have a conversation with them, figure out what's happened, and we'll go from there. Once I get some answers, hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to tell everyone where it is. But based on the evidence we have, our neighbor did, did um, die today. We'll, we'll find out by tomorrow. But I, 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 we checked our local news, there's nothing written there, but it's to be expected, especially if it was a, um, a natural cause death or say... A medical emergency that led to a, to a fatality, if these are the case. Plus, being on the outskirts of Brown, having any kind of news updates on it are minimal. I suppose the only thing I would be able to do is um, check the city coroner's office. We, we could do that and see if there were any fatalities today. But that's about, that's about the best information we have there. And, um, we'll, we'll just, um, keep in contact with our neighbors to make sure everything's okay. But again, I, I apologize for my, um, more somber tone today. No, given the situation, I, I felt it was a little more appropriate to not be screwing around. I mean, I, I was going to try to find somewhere to go, but I was like, mm. no, not, not with the situation and the fact that while, while the coroner or the, the, the coroner and the detectives aren't here. The police are still there talking with the few remaining out there that were close to them. There's been a lot of consulting. I believe it is, if it's still out there, there's only one squad car left. But there were about six of them for a little while. But or right now, there should be, if there are any remaining, because, you know, people get home from work. Um, there should be only one left unless he's finally departed for the day. But... I uh, we will still go ahead and talk with our neighbors when we get the chance. I know Lily does not want to. She's not comfortable with those kinds of situations. So we'll we'll do our part and try to be neighborly. Seeing how many people in our neighborhood who have passed recently, it might be in our best interest to just be better neighbors instead of isolated, I guess. The unfortunate thing is it, it is difficult to communicate. Uh, even in local neighborhoods like this, the pattern of people isolating themselves from, from their neighbors is it's unfortunately common. And unfortunately, we're somewhat contributing to that when we're in our home or in our yard. We don't really communicate with everyone Everyone sticks to themselves, and I can understand trust is low. And these things, these kinds of things just happen, but we do feel some level of um, importance to, to consult them. But I, I should probably, probably leave it there. There's much that we need to do. And, um, well, all the checks we're going to need to do with our neighbors... Make sure when Buttercup finally gets home, if she hears anything about it, that she's going to be okay. Because I do not think she handles it as well as 
her small, well, obviously she's not going to handle it as well as her sister because her sister is still too young to fully understand these kinds of situations. But I, I do know that the degree of empathy Buttercup has is high enough to where he doesn't handle people passing away so well. So when she gets home, we're going to have to talk to her too. But outside of our overall situation, I hope everyone has has had a decent Tuesday. And I love your family members. Let them know you care. Let them know you love them. And make sure your family members are okay. I want everyone to take care of themselves. Just relax for the rest of the day. And we will see you all tomorrow on Wednesday. Please take care, everyone.